Two patients, Martin Brest and Rudy Wurlitzer, meet in a hospital, just after learning that both have untreatable diseases with short life expectancies. They start talking about their death that is to come very soon. When they find a bottle of tequila, Martin finds out that Rudy has never seen the sea. Martin tells Rudy that all they talk about in heaven is how beautiful the sea is. Drunk and still in their pajamas, they steal a baby blue Mercedes-Benz W113 Classic Roadster and go for their last mission, to see the sea. The car belongs to a crime boss. They rob several small shops, only to find that there is a million Deutsche Marks in cash in the trunk of their car. As they progress closer to their goal, police along with gangsters start the hot pursuit. Eventually, the two friends find themselves trapped in the middle of a countryside road by police units on one side and gangsters on the other, pointing their guns at each other. The standoff finally erupts into a big shootout while the two make a desperate escape through the cornfield. After that, Martin buys a pink Cadillac of the same model as the one which Elvis Presley presented to his mother. His wish is to give the same present to his own mother. As he fulfills the wish, they get ambushed by police near Martin's mother's house. Martin pretends to have a seizure and falls on the ground. He is taken to the hospital in an ambulance with Rudy sitting by his side. En route, Martin and Rudy hijack the vehicle to continue their quest. On the way to the ocean they stop by a brothel, where Rudy wants to fulfill his wish to have sex with two women at the same time. By coincidence, the brothel is owned by the boss whose money they had found in the car they have stolen at the beginning of the journey. They are seen by the two gangsters who are after them throughout their journey. The gangsters take Rudy and Martin to their boss who asks them for money they should return. Martin says that the money was spent and sent to various people which drives the criminal boss insane. Enraged, the boss points a gun at them ready to shoot, but Curtis, the most influential criminal to whom the money was meant to be delivered, comes in. After a short talk he says, then you better run, before you run out of time. The capo goes on talking about that in heaven everybody would be talking about the ocean. Curtis spares their lives and lets them go. The film ends as Martin and Rudy arrive at the ocean shore. They walk to the sandy beach and Martin falls dead on the ground. Rudy imperturbably sits down beside his friend, facing the ocean and watching the surf.